Their Majesties call before them Lady Diana von Aken. Mrs. Diana. Mrs. Diana. My apologies. Hi. Hi. You know what I mean, Coco? Oh, awesome. She's nice and more fun. Yeah, no, you're real. Would you come here to get on my Okay, that's fine. I would like, first of all, the first, the first thing is that you have done this before. You have sat here, you have sat in front of the sovereigns, and, um, right, and, and received words, and today, for work, work that you have done throughout the kingdom, we, yeah, well, oh, you know oh, what? Uh, <laughs> oh, All right, yeah. so what we would like you to do is to sit comfortably for a moment. Yeah, have a seat. <laughs> because is there and you know, Laurel? No, 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 no. Right. I think we should. Yeah, I got a better idea. Okay. No? Yes. Yeah, sure. No? Okay. How about the order of the pelican? <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> the order of the pelican. <laughs> Please come forward, make yourself comfortable. We did receive some um, counsel. some counsel, and we would hear additional counsel. Thank you. Now that I'm back to myself. Do we have a member of the Laurel to speak on her behalf today? I am a Gistel East of Lagolion, and I claim that right. Yes, you do. The irony of me speaking for her as her former apprentice <laughs> is not lost. <laughs> but there are those who practice art, and there are those who serve to make sure that others can practice art. And for two years, every time I called you, emailed you, and you didn't get back to me, it was, oh, I'm doing stuff for, was doing stuff for KWMBS. Every dance master and dance mistress in this kingdom knows that if they want live musicians, just contact Diana. And she will organize musicians. I learned so much of what it means to be a peer from her. And I cannot think of anyone who I would recommend to you for this one. Is there a member of the Order of the Chivalry who would speak on your behalf? <laughs> All right, is there a member of the Order of Defense? There are also yes. members of the Come again! I, Orlando Sforza, Baron of Sudworth Swamp, Order of Defense, would pay that group. Come on up, if you can get your way through all the birds. Yeah. 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 Look at that! <laughs> That's mine right there. Oh, okay. I hope you're in it. I'm trying to get just my button just there. <laughs> Please do the honor of uh, addressing the populace, and I'll take the other side. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. It's <laughs> nice. So, um... When I began my time in the society, early on, I followed my beloved uh, Karis to this very shire, Rusted Woodlands, where she grew up. And there we found Deanna, a warm and welcoming and inspirational presence. And so she continues to be. So, like the autumn moon, rising above the trees, shining its light over the land. Like the November wind blowing across the stalks of grain, like all the wondrous features of nature, 
so do we experience her influence in our kingdom as a constant. We hear, hear her melodious music and feel how it moves us. Often, without even being aware, and so many times we enjoy her contributions as the soundtrack of our society, the score of our collective dream. From entertaining the masses to instructing and encouraging the novice and composing original music, she has done more, far more, than the historical roles can ever record. So she is in fact the epitome of a peer appear twice over, and so I encourage your majesties to please encourage uh, to keep her in the order. She said you guys do too much work. She doesn't belong. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a member of the Order of the Chivalry who's in the doors? Excellent. I, Sir Tanaka, claim that right. <laughs> Yana and I have a long history. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was young once. <laughs> <laughs> Of the Order of the Pelican. Yeah. Viva! Viva! Viva!